Hello beautiful Pisces and welcome back to Intuitive Energies. So exciting today. Um, I always do pre-shuffles but this one was really awesome the way it came out and the way it came through. Um, channeling my dad, if you guys aren't, were not aware or you're new, uh, one of my guides is my father. He passed away in 2010. We had a tumultuous relationship but he taught me a lot, lot in this lifetime. He was um, Let's just say that his uh, antagonistic antagonistic behavior got me to where I am today. So, you know, a good for a bad kind of, sort of. He has been tremendously helpful in my journey across. My father was a believer in spirit. He had many things happen to him in his lifetime that he didn't understand, and he would retell these tales proving to me that he had a very spiritual, mm, don't know what's going on kind of side, okay? He was also very well known, um, uh, what do you call that? Somebody who stops blood. Like he could, if somebody was bleeding, he could put his hands on them and stop them from bleeding to death, which was a really fantastic gift. Um, okay, a little bit about my dad as a human being. And now, I'm going to, this is his deck of cards, this is the, the, this one in particular, not this one here, this is the one that I added to it, because I knew he would love these cards, and uh, they, they really offer some great information. Anyway, Dad came through this morning, I'm going to get to it, Dad came through this morning with some awesome, awesome, uh, great common sense that I absolutely am tickle pink to have received. When I was shuffling, these cards came out in order. Uh, the two twos, the six, the two, and then the two eights, and the nine. So I'm going to explain. This is the two of hearts, or the two of cups, which means harmony. You have the two of swords, which means uh, uncertainty and blocked emotions and standstills and not trusting yourself. You have the Six of Swords, which is transitioning, and you have the Two of Diamonds, which is the Two of Pentacles for me, which is juggling and adaptability. You also have the Eight of Wands and the Eight of Swords. The Eight of Wands is moving in quickly. The Eight of Swords is, of course, blocking yourself, and at the end you have the Nine of Pentacles, which is, of course, your hard work paying off. Okay, so right away, I'm going to speak about the different aspects of this, and there was a lot that came in. It was like a super quick download. So I'm trying to get it out to you before I miss it or miss something. The Nine of Pentacles, the way it came out with a different deck, is the outcome for me. So basically, John, who is my father, is saying that it doesn't really matter what kind of journey you make for yourself with the rest of these cards, okay? How you match them up together to get to where you need to go. You are going to succeed, okay? But the idea here is how you get there, okay? Now, if you've realized, first of all, there are three twos. If somebody would like to write down there, because I'm not a special specialist about angel numbers, if you guys know what it means, look it up, whatever, write it in the comments so everybody can see. That would be great because I find that came through, that the synchronicity of the three twos. And not only that, what's not lost on me is that two, two, two is actually six, okay? So these are kind of, there's a lot of synchronicity here, okay? The other part of it is, is that when you put six and two together, it does make eight, okay? The next message that came through is that depending on the pairing of these, you get a different outcome. And that was a really, truly brilliant part of this little equation. My father is very good at math, so, all right, we'll start right away. If you put this six and this two together, which is the six of swords, which means transitioning, moving into a different direction with the two of cups into harmony. If you're transitioning into harmony, you will get movement with the eight of wands. Okay? However, if you put the six and two the six and two of swords together, which is transitioning into uncertainty and unbalance and feeling blocked, well you're gonna be blocked yourself with the eight of swords. So this again very brilliant. 
with this six and two, this is the two of pentacles. This is being adaptable. Okay? It can either mean that you skip into um, adapting yourself into a better place and go straight to the nine, or it could also mean at this point is that you are adaptable. Okay? You can juggle between the two decisions and decide which one you would like to do to get to your nine. Either way, these blocks will eventually get removed and you will hit your nine, but which path do you want to follow, okay? Do you want to be adaptable so that you can get here quicker, okay? So this is talking about transition and the way that you're going to get to it, okay? He is saying that it is really all up to you. Do you take the easy way and the hard way? And I really consider him an expert on this because most of his life, he took the hard way. So, again, a very, very smart man. And I'm going to put these three twos together, the six at the end of it, these two eights here to show where we're going and the nine to show where we want to be. So... Yeah, that's how it starts. That's how this this reading begins. Now, let's see if we can get some beautiful cards. Okay, so I'm going to try and pick the ones that... Yeah, Dad would like these. So let's, let's, let's continue on. And let's see if he continues coming through. Give us more information. transition death card okay right are you gonna make it hard are you gonna make it are you gonna persevere are you gonna make it challenging okay are you gonna argue your principles on every turn okay because this is defending yourself this is like putting up your your sticks and your haunches and it's exactly what he's saying okay are you gonna make this six this transition this death into trans this transition into something new difficult are you going to defend it are you going to stand your ground are you going to see are you going to become adaptable to the situation or are you going to make it difficult okay because there's more than one way and even if you think you're doing the right way maybe being adaptable is the way to do it as well okay standing your ground is important but sometimes it depends what you're standing your ground in. Are you being too strict on the way you're wanting your wishes to come true? Can they come true in a different way that's unexpected, yet it still has the same outcome for you? You understanding? Yeah. So how, um, how it's the word terse I'm hearing, um, how restricted are you willing to get? Uh, how open are you willing to be? Are you able to look at things in a different way and let them unfold naturally? Are you going to force the issue? He is mentioning here that there are many choices and many outcomes to every single decision that we make in life. Okay? Sometimes we trip ourselves up by having too many decisions or too many choices, I should say. And sometimes we trip ourselves up by limiting the amount of choices we have, okay? He's talking about illusions, about what's right and what's wrong here. I love this. I love this. This is so profound. Okay? 
Um, if you haven't noticed, we are being schooled today. Yes, we are being schooled today. I like it. I'm okay. Yeah, he's asking, he's, he's really asking to take the time to really look at all your options, okay? Are you curtailing them? Are you stopping the progress of things? Are you making it slower than it needs to be? Because that's the Eight of Wands, it's a faster energy. The Knight of Pentacles is a slower energy. He's saying it doesn't matter really what kind of progress you're making as long as you're moving forward towards your nine, three, six, nine, okay? You really want to try and get there. You're trying to accomplish these things. Is it really taking that slow or is it because you're making it go that slow? Is there a reason you're making it go slow? I like that. Are your reasons of sound, um, are they sound reasons or are they based in insecurity and blockages that you create for yourself? Mm -hmm. Right. Are they based on beliefs from the past? Things that no longer apply now, but something that you've been thought. Okay. Should you apply yourself in the art of learning new things? Or of even implementing old things that might help you out better now? Okay? With the Six of Swords always comes the Eight of Cups. To me, they're like, they're like the same story told a different way. Okay? So, sometimes leaving old beliefs is really hard. It's a hard thing to do. To go out into life and make a new way for yourself. It really is hard. It really disturbs your sense of uh, emotional soundness, emotional stability. Okay? It makes the waters behind you feel even worse. If I look at him right now, he looks, to tell you the truth, I've never noticed this, but he looks a bit concerned. And he almost looks like he's trying to find a little bit of balance on this pedestal that's probably going back and forth. Look at his face. Look like, hmm, I don't know about this. See? He's taking his foot out like, uh, I don't know. I don't know. There's a lot of choppy water back there. So it takes away from that, that mature emotion that you feel that it linked to stability how you feel inside you know your sense of security what you're used to I love the fact I am noticing that there is this this religious figure that is always here okay so this transition again you see him here you see him here. Uh, this religious um, figure is like the transition of it, okay? It's like something old, like, okay, it's, it's this, this way of thinking is done. Uh, you need to adopt a better way, a different way, something that will suit you better, something that will get you farther, something that will help you grow, okay? So what I'm getting right away is some of the blocks that you may be feeling is fear. Of course. Fear is a great big uh, motivator in this world on how not to get where you need to go. Right. Or negative energies. Okay. Negative emotions. Negative people. Sometimes you talk to people and they talk you out of it. Oh, I wouldn't do that because, you know, you're not too sure about it. And are you sure? Or they pick up on your energy of indecision. And they try to help you because they see in your face that you look undecided. That happens too, you know. You can go to somebody going, well, I was thinking of doing that, but I don't know. Do you hear it in my voice? Oh, I don't know if I, you know, if I'm ready for that. And then they'll right away say to you, well, if you're not ready, you shouldn't do it. You know, trust your gut. 
You already sound indecisive, but why? Why are you indecisive? Why are you not adapting? What's going on? Okay, why are you blocking yourself? What is stopping you? So it's looking for the root cause, okay? What are you afraid of? What are you afraid you're going to lose? Crucial to this situation is the King of Wands and his energy of just taking, picking up the slack and going with it, okay? To become your own natural leader. Um, to be dynamic in your responses and your solutions. Um, to be authentic about what you want and be truthful to yourself, okay? To make a concrete decision and have the courage to follow through. To follow your real gut feelings. Okay, and to meet challenges with a lot of gusto and reverence. Okay, and I know it's easier said than done to have courage, but courage is just not walk, only walking into a dark room and being scared of the dark. Courage is also about just using the tools that you have available for you. You have a lot of older type energy here because you have two kings and a queen. You have a priest here. There's a lot of like... <clears throat> I find it's not to say that the younger people don't go through this, but this is, I find, a more mature energy. This is for people who've been burned before, okay? This is people who have made decisions that didn't always pan out. Or people who haven't made enough decisions. Who have taken a safe route. Okay? Who have honed in on how to be live safely in their lives. And now are deciding to suddenly take a chance. Okay? So the queen is a strength of character. She's actually my defining card in the deck. Um, you have to be really... Believe in yourself, okay? Believe in your strength of character. Believe in your critical thinking. Uh, believe in your intelligence and the truth that you tell yourself, okay? Believe that you are self-aware and that you have taught yourself a lot and that you are very wise in your decision, okay? But don't restrict yourself because she can also be the kind of teacher that you know, will talk herself out of things. She's very much of the mind, the Queen of Swords. So remember to be really clear in your communication. Don't let the Page of Sword inexperience energy walk in. Make sure that you are dealing with this type of energy. That you have the clear and concise thinking to adapt to situations. That even if you do take a step towards the unknown, that you have enough intelligence, enough um, uh, enough education, and I'm not talking just school education, I'm talking about knowledge and education, to know what to do if something comes up, okay? It's not always somebody showing up around the corner scaring the crap out of you with something new. Sometimes you can see these things that are going to pop up in these new journeys way before they do. Okay? It's not always surprise. You weren't expecting this. Some of it is just, oh, okay, this is coming up. Well, I'm going to deal with it. Know that you have the maturity and the experience to deal with it. Okay? Right. And there's that courage card again. That strength card. Okay? That inner courage. It's to find... It's to work with that wild part to find balance between your logic and your impulses. But don't restrict your impulses. Your impulses also know when you need to be propelled into something new. Okay? So increase your personal power 
and focus on your in, in your your inner strength okay have a brave brave heart have courage trust yourself be self-assured okay strength of character this all plays in Some of you are afraid of losing something, okay? You're afraid of this insecurity. This The insecurity itself is the problem, okay? The uncertainty, this uncertainty will come inside of you, okay? It's about worrying about things before they happen. It's about thinking scarcity before it happens or before it's even there. It's excluding yourself. It's instability. It's a very dark path that you follow and make yourself believe. Okay? And again, it's under the sword, the air card, the mind card. It talks about the way you perceive things. Do you perceive them with scarcity or do you perceive them with abundance? Do you perceive it as a brand new challenge, things that you can adapt to, a harmonious future that you can work on, or do you perceive it as something that's going to trip you up and ultimately turn out bad? Like, like you said, your Nine of Pentacles will come in, but you have to choose, okay? You have to choose... Which cup you're gonna you're gonna go by? And it's funny there's four, okay? So I love that. Which one are you gonna pick to be your natural self? Which cup? Right now you're not picking anything. Right now you're in a break. We talked about that yesterday. You're taking a break. But what Spirit has told me is that this is your state of mind. When you have a minute to rest, your mind defaults to, what am I going to do? Okay? What story do you make up in your mind? Is it a great outcome story? Is it a hopeful one? Or is it the one that is going to have you is it the one with abundance, or is it the one that's going to have you surmounting challenges? Okay? Basically, is it, is it, are you telling yourself a scary story or a happy one? This is really what this is. Okay? Which path are you taking? Which path are you uh, putting a step on in your mind? A hopeful, happy one, or one fraught with uncertainty and scary stories? It's up to you, okay? How are you going to adapt this to make it a better story, okay? I'm going to come back with the extended later, and we're going to continue on this topic. I'm going to let other spirits come in and talk. And, uh, well, I think they've all been talking, but I, I know my father's been coming in um, stronger than the others today. Um, and let's see what else they have to add to this. I'm sure it'll be very insightful, whatever it is. Uh, thank you so much for being here. I'm sending you lots of love, light, and blessings to you. Pisces, take care of yourself.